Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Next Goal Wins, where today we're bringing you another season preview for the European Leagues. Today we're talking about the Bundesliga, the German division, one of my favourite divisions in all of world football, maybe even my favourite if the Premier League wasn't around. We're going to talk about if Bayern can keep their dominance going and what's going to happen to the rest of the teams in the division. So as I said, we're going to be talking about Bayern first. As always with German football, you have to talk about Bayern. I've gone for Bayern winning the division again. Another season of dominance I can see from Guardiola's side, which we all know what's capable of. They feature players like Robin, who was injured for a lot of se the last season and they still managed to walk the league. Players like Lewandowski, who can score goals. The list goes on and on. Thomas Muller everyone can contribute. Last season they only conceded 18 goals in the league as well so despite everyone talking about their attacking prowess Bayern have got a pretty mean defence as well. People like Jerome Boateng despite people saying he was poor against Barcelona in the Champions League he did a good job in the Bundesliga. So I've got Bayern finishing the top again but I've got them finishing seven points better off than they did this season. That's due to Iron Robin. Hopefully he can stay fit. And also because of the end of last season when Bayern were still in the Champions League semi-final and had the league round. In second place I've gone for Wolfsburg again. The same as last year but I've got them four points better off than last season. Last season the emergence of Kevin De Bruyne was massive for Wolfsburg. I mean to get 20 uh, assists in a season in the Bundesliga is just incredible. I mean, he got more assists than the top goal scorer did goals in the division, which really sums up what kind of an achievement it was. And for him to get 10 goals as well, it's really an unbelievable feat. Bastost, we're not sure if he'll be staying at Wolfsburg yet this transfer window. He got 16 goals last season. A lot of them, like I talked about in one of my transfer window, came in a, uh, a purple patch during the season. And with... De Bruyne in behind him, I, I'm not really sure you can fail to score. I do think Wolfsburg need to bring in another striker with their Champions League campaign about to get underway. In third, I've gone for Munch and Gladbach again. The top three, all the same as this season. Munch and Gladbach finished third this season. I can see him holding that position. They've got a lot of really good talent on their side. Patrick Herman, the young German, excuse the rhyme. Uh, he's a, a really good young player, fast on the wing. They've got Rafael, the Brazilian, who really goes unnoticed in that division, who scores tw scored 12 goals last season. And people don't really talk about him because he sits off a front man, but for consistently for a few years now, he's done well for Munch and Gladbach. Max Kruser, another young German for Munch and Gladbach, he got nine assists and 10 goals last season. So I, I see Munch and Gladbach, despite the fact they're going to have Champions League football, I still see him cement him at third place. In fourth, and we've returned to the Champions League places, I've gone for Borussia Dortmund. We all know Dortmund had a very poor season last season, and that was really down to their poor start. They managed to claw it back after Christmas, eventually finishing their Europa League places. But the most interesting thing for any Dortmund fan, or anyone who's interested in Dortmund this season, will be what happens without Jurgen Klopp at the helm. We know that Klopp was unlikely to stay at the end of the season, and with his departure and now what looks like year sabbatical, It'll be good to see what Dortmund will be like under Klopp, with him such an influential figure at the club. They've brought in Thomas Tuchel, the uh, young, young manager who was manager of Mainz before he gave up one year ago to have another sabbatical. Tuchel, uh, a manager very similar to Klopp, only 41 years of age, kind of the same dynamics that he'll bring to the side. And I think with players like Royce still in there, Immobile, who I know didn't do well last season, Kevin Campbell, a player they brought in who didn't do well last season, I think these will improve in their second season. They've got a lot of talent in my side and I can't see them finishing outside the top four. In fifth place and sixth place, I've gone for Bayer Leverkusen and Schalke. The teams who were always up near the top, Leverkusen and Schalke, and may have been for a few seasons. Leverkusen last season couldn't really rely on Stefan Keisling like they could for previous seasons, and instead had to rely on goals from Kerim Balarabi, the young German who really emerged last season. Bellarabi had a really good season, he even got in teams of a season, so if he can push on this season and carry on what he did last, it'll be an interesting season for Leverkusen. But they do need a striker now. Josip Dermic has gone to Munch and Gladbach, the side I finish, think will finish above them. Schalke, obviously in sixth. Klaus Janja Huntelaar has been their goal scorer for years, but last season didn't even manage to get 10 in the league. So they really need to improve their goal scorer in Schalke. Despite a good Champions League run where they only got knocked out by Real Madrid at the Bernabeu, despite beating them at the Bernabeu, I think Schalke will miss out on Champions League places again, but will secure that Europa League place. Fifth place, in seventh place, I went for Augsburg. The team who finished fifth last season won a lot of plaudits for their football. I've, I can't see them 
maintaining that level with Europa League football to contend with. But 7th place again will be a really good finish for him. 8th I've gone for Werder Bremen. Werder Bremen didn't have a very good season last season. They only just managed to finish 10th and that was with a good end to the season. But I can see him pushing on stronger this year. Janusovic for central midfielder. For an Austrian centre midfielder, he won a lot of plaudits last season, got in a lot of people's teams of the year, he also got in one of the EA teams of the year for anyone who plays FIFA. I think he'll be one of his standout players this season. I saw him play for Austria in the European qualifiers and he looked excellent and I can see him having a really good season this season. Below Werder Bremen in 8th, I've gone for 9th, 10th of Frankfurt and Hoffenheim. Hoffenheim finished 8th this season, I've got Frankfurt finishing 9th again. Frankfurt really, I've put them 9th, but it depends on the goals from Alex Meyer, who scored 19 and finished the top goal scorer last season in the Bundesliga. If he can score those goals again, then they'll be there or thereabouts. 10th, I've got Hoffenheim slipping down from 8th, that's purely down to the loss of Roberto Firmino to Liverpool in recent days. Firmino is a good signing for Liverpool, and despite people saying that Liverpool fans might not have watched him, from watching him myself, I know he's a good player who can set up a lot of goals. And for Hoffenheim, he was crucial. So I'm seeing him slipping just a few places down. If only just managed to survive in the last few seasons, Hamburg fans will love me for putting him this high up in the table. Only just managing to stay in the division after Karlsruhe in the playoff last season, defeating them in a last-minute free kick and then in additional time. I can see Hamburg having a consolidation season this season and finishing mid-table, well away from those places they were, so the clock can keep ticking in the stadium, so they have never been relegated from the Bundesliga, will continue. In 12th, I've got Stuttgart, a team who only just managed to survive as well last season. A team who are a big Bundesliga team, I think they'll stay up comfortably. 13th, Hanover, it's where they finished last season, I can't see any improvement from them. In 14th, and interesting, I've gone for Ingolstadt, the newly promoted team. Ingolstadt have had a lot of backing from Audi, like Wolfsburg have from Volkswagen. Ingolstadt will be looking to finish in the mid-table of the Bundesliga. They won't be looking to go straight back down. They paid massive wages in Bundesliga 2. And I think this season they will finish in that 14th place and survive. Below them in 15th, I've got her for Berlin just surviving as they did last season in 15th place. In 16th, I'm going into the relegation playoff though, I've got Mainz. Mainz who finished 11th last season. I, can, I think Okazaki could be leaving to Leicester, my team, which will be interesting to see what he can do for us. I've heard a lot of people say good things about him, despite his record not being prolific. Uh, I think Mainz will slip down. It looks like they're going to have a bit of a problem with Jara, the uh, Chilean player who put his finger up Edison Cavani's back passage and got here himself got Cavani sent off. It looks like they might be releasing him, which is the last thing they need before the start of a new season. And losing Okazaki, their top goalscorer for the last few seasons, will be detrimental to him. And then getting relegated, I've gone for Cologne. Cologne have stayed up the last few seasons. I mean, one of the teams in mid-table getting the 40-point mark, but I think they'll slip into the abyss this season. And 18th, I've gone for Darmstadt, the other newly promoted team, who I think will get cut adrift of a bottom and won't stay up. The Bundesliga is my favourite league, like I said at the start, in European football and probably in world football. It offers high drama, massive crowds and always brilliant games. I think this season will be another great season for Bundesliga and if you don't watch German football, make sure you do. Watching another video here on Next Goal Wins, please subscribe to me, click the subscribe button below, you know you're going to get a video every day from me. Comment below on any video ideas you want to see and if you like my videos at the moment, and please like the video so I know you're enjoying it. Thanks again. I'll see you in the next one. From the jump, you could tell my attitude was way different than them dudes trying to rap at you. Cause half them dudes.